bobsledding is not a sport you associate with the continent of Africa, nor do you associate it with the city of Johnson City for that matter. But thanks to the Olympic training site at ETSU, both could be a huge part of a Winter Olympics first. It's kind of a winter sport, you know. You mean winter as in ice. The 1993 movie Cool Runnings was loosely based on the real-life quest of the 1988 bobsled team from Jamaica, who turned heads for being the first from a tropical country to compete in the typically cold weather sport. It's the Brazil pairing of Fabiana Santos and Mayara da Silva. At the 2014 Winter compete, Olympics, 23 teams competed in the bobsleigh events, including three from traditionally warm weather climates. But there has never been one from the continent of Africa. Sean Adigan and her teammates from Nigeria are hoping to change that. Most times if you think Africa, you don't think bobsled, right? Adigan was an Olympic hurdler, but watched as many fellow track athletes made the transition to bobsledding and decided to give it a try. A lot of track athletes actually transition very well into bobsled because as a bobsled athlete, you need to be fast and you need to be strong. And track and field athletes tend to have that speed strength background. Her training led her to Johnson City which may seem like an unlikely site for this unlikely Olympian to train. I live in Houston and people think it's unconventional that I train for bobsled there, so. But the Olympic training program at ETSU is actually one of the best in the country. The really cool thing about my job is to be able to work with elite athletes from around the world and help them meet their goals. Uh, the Olympics are very stressful, so part of my job as a coach is to take all the stress off the athlete. And I had an amazing conversation with Dr. DeWeese, and from that moment on I knew that this buildup was going to be something that was necessary in this facility with this specific coach. And if Atkin and her teammates are successful, they could turn this unlikely pairing into Olympic history. Being the first to do this for Nigeria is one thing that's very special. But being the first for the entire continent of Africa, man or woman, has now become like a monumental idea. You know, this is now we're tapping on the idea of chasing greatness and creating legacy. There's special athletes like Sean that's really trying to change for her country and, and, and give people hope. And that is really something that I want to, you know, help her with. Adigan and her teammates have two more races to run, and they should know if they qualify for the 2018 Games sometime in November.